So, Mr. Queen, welcome to Torino. Let's talk briefly about uh, the subject you will talk tomorrow to the VCC, WCC. Yes, well, I'm delighted to be yeah. here. Never been to Torino before. Uh, exciting, even less than 24 hours. I've seen what an incredible uh, melange it is of culture, the arts, industry, business. What a terrific place for the World Chambers to be here. And I'm so glad to be here because tomorrow I'm going to talk about the issues of climate change and agriculture. And I'm so impressed by that the title of the Torino Chamber includes agriculture because too often it's left out. The biggest issue that human beings have ever faced is can we produce enough food sustainably, nutritious, to feed nine plus billion people. This is bigger than any other issue. And with the challenge of a climate volatility, of droughts, of floods, of rising sea levels, it's even more difficult. And this is particularly so in Africa and South Asia. Now those are places are far away yeah. from the United States, pretty far away from Italy, but they impact both of us dramatically. Uh, my organization, the World Food Prize, which is a quarter million dollar prize that we give, it's like the Nobel Prize for food and agriculture. And we give it to those who do the innovations and the discoveries that will allow us, our species, humans, to deal with this issue and increase the quality, quantity, and availability of food. Now, Africa is going to add a billion people in the next 35 years. South Asia is going to add a billion people. And they all have to eat. And if they don't have enough food produced in those places, people there are going to go where there is food. So already you see people on boats coming across the Mediterranean. We have people coming across the borders of the United States. You have people going uh, by boat yeah. in Southeast Asia, all in search of food. So to me, why this meeting is so important, and I congratulate Mr. Vincente Elote and the Torino Chamber for holding it here, because you will be inspiring and encouraging those policies and innovations. You know, the temptation is yes. we should close our doors and take care of ourselves. Okay. But that doesn't work. And so together, and particularly business, and particularly chambers of commerce, can play such a leading role in uh, ensuring that governments and organizations promote those issues, provide the money for research that's needed, and provide the assistance. Okay, thank you. And uh, you just arrived in Torino, but uh, what is the first impression of our city? What wow. did you like? Wow, <laughs> well, Torino's big. Yeah. I, was, I was thinking it was going to be smaller. Oh, uh, yeah. you know, and uh, I'm so impressed by how big it is. It's just filled with activity. And I've had a chance to see a few of the buildings and attractions. Oh, we got to hear some opera last night. It was so wonderful. Everyone you know, gave them a standing ovation. And so I saw the, the Royal Theater. I'm going to go uh, to some of the other attractions yeah. uh, this afternoon. So I'm, I'm amazed. Torino is amazing. Okay. Well, thank you. So enjoy your stay and thank you to be here. Well, thank you for talking with me. Thanks.